Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and it's going to be my weekly forecast for Monday, April 25th, 2020. 22. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's get to it. So we'll stop looking at the NASDAQ, and as you can see, we have had three horrible weeks uh, for NASDAQ. We got, well, basically four weeks ago, we got this shooting star, and since then this has basically been tumbling um, from the highs here. And this was also kind of expected. So this was an area of, of uh, major resistance that we had to break through and we did not do that. So we uh, got up towards 15, uh, 15.212k and then we've, it, this basically fell apart. If you look at, for example, also the Fibonacci retracements for this, we got to roughly towards, um, roughly towards the the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement, exactly at the 61.8 Fibonacci, and then we pull back. And that's kind of, from a technical point of view, a market, this is just a, a, a rally in a basically a bear market. And what we should expect going forward is basically much lower levels. So the market is fairly overstretched at this current stage. If you look at the lower chart for four hour chart and so on, uh, the RSI is significantly oversold and therefore we may see a rally on Monday and probably also on Tuesday before continuing in this line. If you look at this candlestick here from last week, then there's basically no pullback at the end of uh, the session and people are basically selling into the, the, the close, so that, and that is a very bearish shine indeed. So if we break below this candlestick here, this is 12.99k, then we, we may see this market tumble even further down, probably towards uh, 12.5 and then 12, and then all the way down towards, in the long term, we'll probably have a rallies up and so on going like this. But the target here will most likely be the 200 moving average. And that's all the way down here at 10K, roughly 10K. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is bearish at this point, stochastic is bearish, and so is the RSI. We are re we're reaching towards oversold conditions in the weekly chart for RSI. And therefore, we in between, we will see rallies like this because it, you just can't sell off constantly. So if we look at the S&P 500, we can see very similar here. Also found major um, resistance at the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement, got the shooting star, and then we basically fell apart. We, if we take out uh, 4,100, and this market will also tumble. Also here, it looks like we are basically creating a channel that, that will just continue going lower and lower. So we may most likely see this market dropping down towards here, going back up, dropping down and so on, until we get towards the, um, the 200 moving average or something completely changes in the world economy because at this current stage, the Federal Reserve or central banks around the world are not the market's friend anymore. And therefore, um, saving the market when you have these pullbacks that we saw back in 20, uh, 2020 and also 2021, that is not going to happen. So, so Federal Reserve is not going to step in here like it did. The same goes for here, same goes for here, and same goes for this massive drop here. So we will just see markets rally and then it will run into resistance and then it will just fall apart until it gets to a level where people think it's cheap enough in order to enter the market again and therefore we will create another uh, um, bull market. If you look at uh, the MACD, it's also bearish in the... Uh, it's also bearish, stochastic is bearish and so is the RSI. So look at Dow, Dow Jones, Dow Jones similar here. We need to, we need to take out uh, these lows of roughly uh, 32.3k and this major, <laughs> really nasty a bearish candlestick here also sold uh, there's no pullback at the end of the session uh, people were selling into the end of close and therefore we may see this drop even further towards the downside may see this pop a little bit and then continue lower if this 
basically breaks and then we have a channel something similar to this i mean that will drop towards the lows getting very close to 30 uh, 30 k before rallying to the upside that's most likely what we're going to see in the future if this pattern basically holds until we get to the 200 moving average which is going towards here breaking below the 200 that would be extremely bearish for this market and we'll see something extremely bullish extremely bearish going forward of course we did break below it uh, uh, when the pandemic hit but but uh, most likely people there will be a lot of buying buying when getting to the to the 200 moving average if you look at the dax you can see that dax has tried to rally we tried to rally here got a shooting star try we uh, we broke down rallied again another shooting star and it just seems like this is where the DAX is going to go. And that is just going back and forward all the way down towards the very bottom here. Breaking below the 200 moving average, uh, testing the, uh, the double, basically getting a double bottom here. And if that breaks, then, then we are just going to see the DAX fall apart all the way down to the very uh, bottom of the uh, pandemic area. So Europe is not doing well and expectation for Europe is not uh, for the European economy is not really good. Um, there will, of course, be these rallies and there will probably be a rally tomorrow as well to the fact that uh, uh, Emmanuel Macron uh, won the French, French presidency again. That will be uh, fairly bullish for European markets. Uh, but when, when basically reality sets in yet again, there's still a lot of problems with Europe, especially when it comes to energy. If you look at MACD, it is uh, bearish, stochastic is flat, and uh, on the RSI is flat as well at this point. So let's look at the volatility index and what that has to uh, show us for the weekly chart. We can see that this week was extremely bullish for, for the volatility index, and also we have all the markets completely in red. So we may see this rally even further um, going past the Bulliger band, then we'll just see this uh, fall apart yet again. But getting towards uh, the top of this Bulliger band, that is most likely what we're going to see. We may see this uh, pull back towards the middle and the beginning of the week and then continuing higher. But overall, this is, looks like a build up for something bigger. So we're just, this was falling and now we're heading back up um, and continuing going higher and higher in the volatility. Um, and that is an indicator that these markets, tech for example, and also the indices, they are going to, there's going to be a lot more volatility and we'll see this market drop significantly lower. If this trend changes, then we will talk about something else. But at the current stage, it looks like a build up for higher volatility. Uh, stochastic MACD is still bearish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So let's let let's get to the US 10 year. And this is ready to tumble. It is significantly overbought at this point. Uh, MACD is still bullish and stochastic is bullish, but we have been outside of the bullish band for quite some time, and this candlestick kind of here is very bearish even though it's uh we um it's not, it's not a complete shooting star but if we basically break below here that's 2.8 then we see this market tumble all the way down towards the middle of the bullish band and that's roughly a 2.4 so we may see this market uh, going forward um, may see this market going forward that we will see a tumble before going higher and that could also mean that in the beginning of next week or probably the next few weeks we will see uh, the 10 year drop um and we will have a market that's more relaxed but 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 still the up, there's still an upward trend it's just getting fairly fairly overstretched and needs basically to pull back before going higher if it continues like this going parabolical then we'll have just a complete collapse all the way down towards the bottom of the bullish band so Hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.